Did you know? That Justine was in the dark pod? No. They kept that secret under wraps, even from me. But I could have told you not to trust her, even though it would have been hard to convince you of that. I can't believe it happened. And I was there, getting pinned. She's my aunt. I'm supposed to be able to trust family. I thought I was like family when we were partners. And you know how that turned out. But there is an upside to having lived through that experience. What's that? I can help you now. Listen, no one knows your aunt like I do. I remember what she was like when she was on the main roster, what got under her skin, her toughest opponents, her regrets, her weaknesses. If you're on a collision course with her now, and you seem to be, you'll want me by your side to give you the best chance to beat her and win the championship that should have been yours. The best way to take down your aunt is to make her confront the past. Confront the past. Interesting idea. I'll think about it. Well, that was one of the wildest things I've ever seen in WWE. You're telling me. I know she's your family, but I can't get over how these legends come in and trying to make everything about them. Why can't the older generation stand aside and let us have our shine? They already had their time. Justine certainly makes everything about her. But I don't care what kind of a miraculous recovery she may have had. Justine should have let me have my moment. Right? How can these WWE legends expect WWE to grow and move forward if they stay stuck in the past? I'm not the only one in the locker room who feels this way. If you need help with your aunt, you've got backup. But these legends think they're hot, but put them up against a faction of the top and upcoming current superstars and we shut them up real fast. We need to force them to embrace the future. Embrace the future? Huh. You might have something there. Our brand new SmackDown Women's Champion is here to address the WWE Universe after her shocking return and victory at Elimination Chamber. So, I have a little bit of an announcement to make. I've been medically cleared. Surprise! You know, I thought I had closed the books on my WWE career. But being around here lately reignited a light I thought had gone out. As I got involved, Coming back into WWE, first with my podcast, and then as a manager, I started to wonder. Edge, Lita got second acts. Why not Justine? The more I gave, the more I realized, you need me. You need me because you deserve to see me finally reap the rewards of the path I trailblazed to fulfill the promises that I wasn't able to keep when my career got cut short to- What the hell? <laughs> I was wondering when you would show up. Figured you would, given how much you like to ride my coattails. What are you talking about? Why didn't you tell me you were cleared? And why haven't you called me back? Would you have paid attention if I had? After the way you laughed at me when I suggested we team up for the Money in the Bank tag team match? After you never thought to ask me how I was doing whenever I mentioned my doctor's appointments? I'm beginning to think I should have set up those lighting rigs to fall over on you instead. You didn't. Why wouldn't I? Because I'm an old, washed up, past her prime legend. Girlie, you best not insult me, because I taught you everything you know. LJ, 
too bad you don't have the goods to back it up. I gotta admit, I was touched when you decided to wear a version of my gear for your debut. But it was probably at that moment when I started to realize that you don't have what it takes to finish what I started. That I'd have to do that myself. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, LJ? You followed me around like a shadow your entire life and you don't understand. When you decided not to use the chair in your main event match with Ava, did you think you could get ahead by following the rules? <laughs> Cute. That's not how it works. I would never have made that mistake. Because I've always known exactly what I want. What I needed to do. In a world that was five times as hard and seven times as brutal for me. I tried to push you. But you wouldn't even take advice from me. A WWE legend decided to stay loyal and help your leech of a friend, Ava, instead. You know the difference between you and me, LJ? I've never been content walking in someone else's path. And I never had the luxury. I've always had to make my own. My head is spinning here. Justine's not only back, but she's put a target on her niece. Justine's certainly drawn a line in the sand here tonight. How do you even respond to a betrayal like that from a member of your own family? I think we're about to find out. And I have a feeling that whatever she has to say, it could have some big ramifications for the WWE Universe. You know what I find curious? Auntie, that for someone who's so adamant about creating her own path, you're pretty consistent in bringing up the past and what you've already done. Boo-hoo, I'm Justine. It was so hard for me. <laughs> I don't doubt it. But I also don't see any other WWE legend standing in the ring right now telling a sob story about unfinished business. Maybe that's because they accomplished what they set out to do. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? If you failed because you were so mistreated, put upon, and unlucky with an injury, or if you failed because you just don't have what it takes. You shut your mouth. No, nah, I'm done listening to what you have to say. And I'm done asking for your advice. The only thing I'm asking for, the only thing I'm demanding is to set the record straight. You think you're so powerful that the only thing that stopped you back in your day were forces beyond your control? some sort of big bad that had it out for you, then I'm going to tear apart your past and prove that it wasn't them, whoever you think of them is. It was you, Justine. Weak, powerless, a lot of talk and no action. And then, then I'm going to tear you apart. And at WrestleMania, take the SmackDown Women's Championship. Did we just see a WrestleMania match being made? I think we did, Saxton, and I gotta admit, it's not a matchup I thought we'd ever get on the grandest stage of them all, and I also don't think we've ever seen a statement that powerful from this superstar. I've got to agree, Corey, and if Justine's going to have her past torn apart in any way, well, let's just say there's a lot to unravel there.